they are facing you directly okay they're going to stay facing you I'm, I'm going to come forward a little bit they're going to stay facing you and yours are going to face mine and i'm just going to turn now notice the turn is so small i'm pushing my left hip back yeah still stay into you i'm not moving anywhere notice the pelvis yeah notice there's not a twist in it at all yeah it's easy to do that here round to the other side and again so round we go really concentrate on pushing that hip back and then onto the right side okay let's drop the arms down let's lift the ribs away from the ilium so you're nice and tall take your shoulders up drop them back and take them down lift up through the right arm and then lower and then the left arm and again so we're going to go up through the right and then down and then up through the left okay i'm going to do a partial roll down so let's just get things moving my body is frozen so I come down halfway draw in through the abdominals inhale exhale and then roll it up and then set your shoulders back and down lovely let's do that again so drop head neck and shoulders roll it down inhale exhale and then roll it back up remember place your shoulders back to where they were in our perfect pilates position taking your right hand onto the shoulder and circle now then keep this arm moving and then begin to take your other arm through yeah so i'm adding on now i'm going to release the right arm i'm going to keep the left arm moving there we go one two and three now drop the arms down and now circle back on the right okay just on the right when you're ready bring in the left that's it okay i'm going to drop my right arm down at the side of me i'm going to continue on my left that's it two three and one more time and four okay give me a lateral abduction both arms away okay so this is what we're going to do with our weights later so now the palms are going to face up to the ceiling and then they're going to come back so i'm now waking up the rotator cuff yeah so we're going to go which stabilizes that ball and socket joint so up to the ceiling and down all right so just keep that going so down and up try and rather than wave your arms yeah just try and keep them nice and straight so the palms are up, lower. Palms are up, lower. One, lower. Last time, two, and lower. Now I want you to pump the arms, yeah? Just little, notice the little pulse. Okay, little pulse there. That's it, lovely. Pulse. Okay, so breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so little pulses. So it's coming from the shoulder, not from the elbow. All right, so breathe in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five. Breathe in two, three, four, five, breathe out two, three, four, five. Breathe in two, three, four, five, breathe out two, three, four, five. Breathe in two, three, four, five, breathe out two, three, four, hold. Circle back, yeah, little circles back. Arms are feeling really warm now. Oh, the ache is there. Oh, yes. Come on, guys. Let's keep the arms up, 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 up. Lovely. And then around the other way. Eight, seven, six. Who needs weights? Five, four, three, two. Drop the arms down at the side. You give me a side bend. Over to the right. And then over to the left. And again, over to the right. And then over to left. Two more. One. And two. Okay, lovely. Bring the arms up. So the elbows are now nice and wide. I'm going to go round. Again, think about the ilium. So I'm going to go round to my right side. And then I'm going to go around to my left side. Okay, and again. So round to my right. And then around to my left. Okay, give me two more. So take it over on my right and then over on my left okay bring your hands into the center 
tilt the pelvis back just into a little squat and then lift up yeah so the arms are just staying where they are and lift as it go down and lift up now as i come up this time i'm going to open out the arms yeah i close into squat i open to lift and again down and open down and open now take it down for three so i'm going to do a one two now as i come up on my third my fourth so i open my arms and again so i come one two three open and again one two three and open take the arms down and give me a knee raise right and then a knee raise left that's it and again so let's add in our opposite arm so i'm going to come up and through. that's it okay two more one and two now take the legs out to the side so we're going to go into that lateral abduction i'm taking the opposite arm straight away with me okay okay guys and give me two more we're going to go into a hip extension okay now into a hip extension so I'm going to lean forward, just a little lean into it. So I'm pushing back with my heel and squeezing those glutes. Yeah, and again. All right. Oh, a lovely shiny leggings. <laughs> and then give me two more. One and two. Now just tap the foot forward. Now take it back and then tap the other side. Okay, so just a little tap. That's all it is. A little tap and throw then out to the side so i'm going to go out to the side so i'm keeping my contact with the floor okay last one now curtsy behind right behind left so i curtsy and lift curtsy and lift and again one and two okay now touch forward on the right then out to the side on the right then curtsy behind and lift the other side so it's a one two back lift one two back lift and again so it's one two down and lift let's do one more time each side so it's one to really low it um warming up that lower body and those glutes loading them into right and left okay from here just take the shoulders back let's go back to our knee raises so i'm going to do a one two three so i'm going to keep them in fours to begin with now out to the side so i'm going to come out to my side into an abduction okay now into a hip extension take it back that's it two kick the wall three now we're going to go into a squat arms closed and then open to the top yeah now as you open to the top take the arms right back squeeze the scaps back down and open last time down and open okay take the arms down right foot forward then to the side then into your curtsy and then you go straight to the other side so it's a one to the side take it back and close one two back close one two okay give me a forward lunge on the right so i step down lift replace step down lift replace and again one drop two three four one two three step outside squat side squat so i want to make sure today you've got a little bit of room in front of you so i'm going to travel with my squat okay all right two more so it's one take it back two okay lunge again so it's a one drop two four one two 
three, four. And again, it's one, two, three, four. Last one. Okay, side squat. So you step out one and close. Two. Okay, three. Okay, we're going to do a monster squat. So I'm going to come down into my right side. I'm going to turn into diagonal. This is where you need. We're just going to come one more into monster. Okay, then I'm going to take it back on my left. One, two, three, four, and reach to the top. Take the arms in, breathe in and breathe out. One more time, take it up and through. Okay, step lunge. So it's a step down, lift and close, step down, lift, side squat, side and close, side and close. And again, now we're gonna do that monster. Okay, so think of my diagonal. So I'm gonna do diagonal one, two so on that rotation three four take it back one two three four bring it into the center arms up breathe in and breathe out one more time take it up breathe in and breathe out give me a side squat but travel side squat travel side squat travel side travel side travel take it back one travel it back two travel it back so i'm just doing a little cross behind three travel it back four travel it back bring your feet in together take the arms up and open into snow angel one more time up and through and open one more time up and open last one we're going to put the whole lot together okay the whole lot together place the right hand onto the shoulder and circle okay now take the left hand onto the shoulder and circle drop the right arm at side so just keep that going okay now drop the right um, left arm down circle back on the right okay then when you're ready to join circle in with your left Drop the right arm down and keep the left going. One, two, that's it, three. Give me a lateral abduction with both arms, okay? Take it open with the palms up to the ceiling and then lower. Palms to ceiling, lower. That's it, up and lower down. Yeah, so keep the arms nice and straight, nice and long. Up to the ceiling, lower. And again, up and lower last time, and then up and through. Okay, hold it here, bring the palms up to the ceiling, and then just ripple it forward and open. I'm just throwing this one in. It wasn't in there to begin with, it's okay, you haven't gone mad. I'm just bringing it in, just loosening up her upper, upper body. Okay, rainbow the arm over. So I'm going to bring my arm over and then the other side. Okay, one more. All right, now we're going to go straight, taking the arms down at the side of you. Give me a knee raise, left arm. So one, two, three, and four. Now our interlateral abduction. So take it to the side for four. Okay, I want you to keep going, and we'll just and then when you're ready, and then into hip extension. Hip extension. Two three and four now squat down take the arms open as you lift and again down and lift down and lift last time down and lift okay tap forward on the right then out to the side then go into your curtsy oh i like that little combination it's nice and smooth isn't it to the side back and in yeah it's one, two, three to four. Yeah, counting out on your four. Two, 
three, lunge forward to me. So it's a one, drop the back knee up and close. One, drop the back knee up, side squat, side and up, side and two more. One on the right and then one on the left. Now monster, come forward. So I kind of turn my body for one, two, three, four. Now take it back to left. One, two, three, and four. Tap it side squat out and travel for one, travel it. Two, travel. Three, travel. Four, take it back. So we do back. One, take it up. Two, got my feet muddled up at the beginning. <laughs> down to the back and down to the back. Bring the foot around, so both feet are facing forward. It can be four snow angels. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, breathe in and breathe out. Two more, one and lower. Bring yourself a little bit forward to the screen, only because I want to lunge us back, okay? So I'm gonna come down into a squat and then I'm gonna lift up, okay? Now, as I lift up, I come up to full standing, yeah? up into full standing. So this time I'm gonna come into a little squat and lift. My next one, I come down into a little squat, a semi-squat, I take it back into a posterior lunge. I come low, I do a little squat. I come up, back into posterior lunge. Notice my movement, it's keeping the legs under constant contraction, yeah? There's your little squat lunge back there's your little squat lunge it back i'm going to show you how much easier it is when we do it into full squat take it up to the top now give me a squat bring it up to the top give me a posterior lunge squat so there's your option okay isn't it easier when we're in that full range of movement down take it back Last time, down and take it back. Okay, let's do a full roll down and we're going to ready to go with our weight. So roll all the way down. Okay, guys, get your breath. Get your breath. Inhale, exhale, and then roll it up. Okay. And then shoulders back and down. Guys, we are ready. I'd like you to take your weight. So we're going to stand to begin with. I'm just going to change my music over. So get yourself, get a drink, whatever you need to do. And I want to change my music. And okay. All right. All right. Hold it there. All right. All right. There we go. Okay, so it's 45 seconds on and then 30 seconds, 15 seconds off. Okay, full screen. Okay, let's get our hand weights. Okay, take your both hand weights and just place them down at the side of you. Two, one, squat down. So squat and then reverse lunge back. So squat down and reverse lunge back. Okay, so it's down into squat. So taking the weights with you, that's it, down and then back. Okay, let's take it lower. So it's back, little squat and back. Halfway there, you hear that? Little squat, take it back. Don't forget, 15 seconds, we've got a rest. Okay, oh, do you feel that load in those glutes, those thighs? Goodness me. Three, two, one. Okay, bring the weights in at the side of you. So the palms are facing in. Okay, palms are facing in. We're going to do a bicep curl with front raised down. Okay, so two, one. So we're going to come up into hammer curl, 
and lower. Yeah. So squeeze, elbows in and lower. Squeeze up. Now I like this little interval training, it keeps us on this exercise 45 seconds. So we can really play around with things. We're not in a rush. I'm going to change it in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to come up. I'm going to take it around the edge, yeah? Up into hammer curl, around the edge. So think of it about going out into that sort of semi-curve all the way around. Up to the shoulders and round. Three, two, one. Lovely, you've got 15 seconds. The next one we're going to do a front raise. We're going to do a single, single and a double. Okay. Okay, so palms facing in. Three, right arm only. So I come up to shoulder and lower. And then the other side. Now I'm going to do two doubles. Yeah. So we've got a long time here. Yeah. And again. So we're going to go up and lower. And this other side. Up and lower. So 45 seconds halfway and then we can move on to another exercise so it's active rest so working through the front of the delt of the shoulders at the moment into the anterior deltoids we're still going to stay on the shoulders okay we're still going to stay on the shoulders but we're going to go into a medial deltoid okay hold the arms down and circle back you've got 15 seconds rest okay we're going to go into a lateral raise okay single single and double Right. right, shoulders back and down, get ready. Abs in nice and tight. One, here we go. So we're gonna go up into lateral raise and then the other side. And then you're gonna do two in doubles. One and two, that's it. Now, and again, so we're gonna go out. We're also gonna do some floor exercises with our weights as well. And then two, one. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> and then out, remember your breath. Breathe in to breathe out. Breathe in to breathe out. Give me two doubles. Now the weights you're working with, ones, twos, threes, that's enough. Okay, one more time. Three. Oh, we can just about finish the left arm in and then take it down. Relax, shoulders back and down. Okay, I'm just going to tilt forward slightly. Okay, from here, keeping my elbows in. So I'm about 45 degree angle. Okay. I'm going to push back and in, yeah? Push and in. So I'm working the back of the arm into that tricep, yeah? Don't swing the weight. Keep those elbows in tight. Look down towards the floor. I line the floor. We've got a shoulder press coming up. Single, single, double. Push back. Oh my goodness, this is a tough one. Back we go. Two more. Should be able to fit it in. Three, maybe one more. <laughs> okay, and then up to the top. Oh, shoulders back and down. Okay. Shoulder press. Okay, so. Weights into the hands into a 90 degree angle. Single, single, double. Or one, two, two doubles. Push. Sorry, I can't get my full body in yet. So just showing you here. One, two, and then two doubles. Yeah, push to the top. You've got it. And again. So I go a single, single, two doubles. Okay, keep that going, guys. Yeah, no, he's getting tired. Oh, yes. One, two, and again, guys, come on. One, don't leave me on my own. Two, push, push, and again. One, okay, let's just finish on your two doubles. I know we're going into our rest time. Okay, and then drop down. You have 15 seconds rest. Okay, so we're going to push, take the palms back, okay, palms back, so I'm going to go 
into my right arm, into my left arm, yeah? Squeeze back on those posterior deltoids, yeah? The back of my shoulder working. Single, single, two doubles, one, two, okay, and again. So feel the back of the shoulder working. Halfway, Halfway two doubles, one, two, and again, push back, one, two, two doubles, and, and again, so it's one, two, I'm going to leave the bicep, I'm um, sorry, the triceps and the shoulders, I'm going to go back into my biceps, okay, I'm going to turn the weight around, okay, all right, so palms are facing me, one, so we're going to go up, switch, lower, yeah, so it's one, switch, top, lower, turn, up, switch, lower, yeah, so it's really good for ankle, uh, ankle, <laughs> hand and wrist, <laughs> yeah, good on those biceps, so feel the bicep con um, contract and lengthen, yeah, so there's your concentric, that's shortening of the muscle. Turn, eccentric, lengthen. Turn, up, in, and lower. And again, up, turn, in, and lower. Okay, take the legs out wide. Okay, I want you to take the left arm up and hold it there. Okay, this isn't a squat, all right? Take the right arm up too. Okay, this isn't a squat. This arm is doing nothing, okay? Right, so I'm going to push to the top, down at the knees. Push. So I'm using my lower body weight to push up. Push, lower. Push up, lower. Okay, we're going to do 45 seconds on this side. That's it. So what's happening? An isometric contraction into that left arm. Left arm is feeling tired, yeah? Right arm is doing the work, the lengthening and shortening phase. We reached halfway, hope so. <laughs> Three, oh, thank you. Two, one, okay. Take them both down, circle back the shoulders. Okay, now that's probably your stronger side, the right. Left arm into static. So that's going to be, that's a lot of work in there. For, probably feeling a burn. Okay. Okay. From here. Push and lower. Take it up and lower. So I'm just bending the knees. Okay. So I'm push and down. Push. Okay. So I'm just emphasize a little bit of body weight just to help as I lift up. Lift. There we go, we're halfway. Oh my goodness, guys, we're going to do this. We can do this. That's it, you've got it. Now look at your right arm. Some of you are here. Yeah? We want it up. Four, Four. two, one. Take it down. How are we feeling? Okay, take the weight so they're just down at the side of you. We're going to do a side to side squat. Three, two, side to side squat. So I come one, two, three, that's it, and four. Okay, so just the added weights, so you're into one, two, three kilos, obviously you're on a pair, so you're on two, four, or six, and it makes such a difference. Take those heels down, we are halfway. Time to go down onto the floor, guys. Down and press. Down, press. Can we get to the floor in 15 seconds? <laughs> Can we do it? One. Yes, do it. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Roll your mat out. Please, 15 seconds, go nice and slow. <laughs> okay, come down onto the mat. Two. One, down onto the mat, shoulder press. 
So I lift and lower. Lift up. So my palms are facing away from me. Yeah. Palms are facing away. And I'm lifting up. So concentric, eccentric. So there we go. Working through that chest into oh the God. pectorises major and minor. Let's breathe out on the up. Breathe out and breathe in. Okay, out and in. Okay, I'm going to work the triceps with an extension and also a press. Two, one. Okay, turn the weights. So you see, notice they're facing inwards. Okay, ready. Here we go. I'm going to go back into an extension. Three, two, one. So I'm going to take it back into an extension and then take it up. Now, if you need to use just one weight, then obviously take one away. Okay. At halfway, I'm going to do a tricep press. Okay. Now, as you come behind, just keep those glutes in nice and tight. Those tummy muscles, fire them up. Don't let them relax. Okay, halfway, I think she said. I'm going to bring the weights down towards my chest, elbows to the side and lift. Down and lift. Yeah, and again. Down and lift. Three, two, one. Okay, now I'm going to take my arms back, my hands back, as if I'm going to go into a shoulder press. Okay, I'm going to do a Tate press. I'm going to do it on the right side only. Okay, my right side only. So I'm going to come down to shoulder and lift the other side. It's like a little tape press, yeah? So down and lift. It's a hinge at the elbow. Note the tape press. Down and lift. So I'm bringing the weight in towards my shoulder, yeah? In and press. This is called tape press. Halfway. Shall we do both together? All right, let's do both together. So down and lift. Down and lift. And again, bend and through. So it's like, like making a little diamond shape. Two, one. Okay, guys, place the weights just onto your tummy. All right, now you can use one if you want to. It's up to you. You're going to go up into a shoulder press. Three, two, one. one. Tilt the pelvis, lift it up. Okay, so hold on to the weights. Lower down and lift up. That's it. Well done, guys. Lower to lift. And again, so squeeze up. So think about, again, the pelvis. Top of the pelvis, the ilium. Halfway. Now, when you come up the, to the top, should hips are square, and I want you to really think about coming as high as you can up to the top. Three, two, one. Lower that all the way down. Take the weights up. We're going to go into a fly. Now, this is probably the harder exercise out of them all. So we're going to open the chest and close, but we're going to do it nice and slow. Okay, so we're going to open the chest, fly, and then bring it back. Yeah. Catherine on those threes, well done. Hard, isn't it, on the threes? So inhale as you open, exhale to lift. Sorry, I don't know if anybody else is carrying threes today. You can tell me at the end. Okay, and again, open and close. And again, we're halfway and close. Two more. One, three, two, one. Okay, bring the weights in. Okay, just bring them to the side. Now take one away with you. Okay, All right. Take one up to the ceiling, okay? One up to the ceiling. 
Okay, from here, I'm going to lift my head, neck and shoulders, and I'm going to bring the weight in to what am I lying in between my knees? Yeah, and again, so I lift and squeeze. Okay, lift, squeeze it down. Okay, and again, so it's up, squeeze up, and then well down. Okay, and again, up for two. One, and two. Okay, now from here, take the weight all the way back, then bring it up into a little sit up. So the range of movement, two, one, and up here. Okay, take your weights down at the side of you and come over onto your side. Okay, I want you now just to come into where your knees are bent. One, we're gonna lift the hips away from the mat and then lower, yeah? Side plank, lift the hips and lower. Lift, now if this feels easy, you can always go into a full plank. Lower and lift, lower, lift. And again, down, lift. Remember, you go back to what you want to do. You can go back down onto your knees and just lift your hips. Right. Lift up. Remember, they're stacked on top of one another. Two, one. Take it down. Take your legs into a banana. Okay, banana shape. All right. We're going to work still through the waistline. Okay. Take the arm away, one. So I'm going to bring the knees in to release. Bring it in to release. So my legs are just slightly away from the mat. I'm bringing them into crunch to release, yeah? In, push away. In and push. One. Oh my goodness, we are nearly. <laughs> This is a tough one, guys. And again, pull and reach. And we're going to run over a little bit today because we did start a little bit later. Okay, up, two, one. Okay, bring yourself down, placing your head in your hand. So our elbows are wide. Okay, bring your knees round to 90 degrees, like a tabletop position. Two, one. Take it out into diagonal, bring it back. Bring it out into diagonal and back, yeah? Out and push. Feeling it right into the gluteus medius and minimus, yeah? So the smaller glute muscles into the corner. Now, as you go into the corner, I want you to flex the foot halfway. Flex the foot. Okay, and again, push away. So think about diagonal to corner, into your diagonal. If you don't let your hands open, you can always place one down. Three, two, one. Okay. All right, guys, bring it up into seated position. Okay, come up into seated position. Take your one weight with you. Okay. Three. We'll go on the other side in a moment. Okay. Vertical spine, tilt the pelvis. Take it back and lift it to the top. Back we go. And lift to the top. That's it. You've got this. Down. And lift. It come through, so still getting that workout halfway, halfway with the shoulders. Okay, back we go and lift, and then down we go. Nearly there, guys. If you want to take the weight away, then you can do so. Three, two, one. Now you can take the weight away. Take the hands at the side of the head. We're going to come back down onto the mat. Hands wide, or elbows wide. Come down. Bring the feet in. Two, one. 
two, one. Give me a basic crunch. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Now think about this distance, the chin to the chest. Yeah, open. Open and through. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder at halfway. Okay, a little bit harder. I'm gonna run over probably about five about ten minutes. Take it into tabletop. Squeeze and lower. Squeeze and lower. Lovely. And if this is too hard in that tabletop position, then you can always go back and place your feet down onto the mat. Three, two, one. Hands under, lift up to seated. Turn around the other way. Okay. All right, so from here, side plank. Two, one. Lift up. So I lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now this is a level one. Okay, so I lift and lower on the knees. If you want to, extend the legs away and then lift and lower. Down with the hips to the mat and lift up. Down and lift. This is harder this side. <laughs> and again, lower. Lift and lower. You get about four seconds. Four, there we go. Three, two, one. Oh, drop down. Feet to the corner. Okay. Yes, so, ready. ready? We're going to pull it in on a crunch. Four, three. three two, one. So I'm going to bring the knees in and extend them away. In to extend. Now if you find this too hard, bringing both legs in, you can always bring the top, le um, top leg in, elbow towards the knee, yeah? Or you bring both together. A little bit easier by shooting them into the corner, into that 45 degree. In we go. Press. In. Press. This is a tough class, guys, today. We're nearly at the end. Bring it in. Open. In. Open. Two. One. Okay. Come down. Bring your head, hand, open. Okay. Legs 90 degrees. We're going to come into the corner with the foot flexed. Two. One, take it into corner, drop it down. Into corner, squeeze and drop down. And again, extend and lower. And again, extend and lower down. Oh, we got some stretching coming up after this. We are halfway. We are nearly there for the weekend. Push away and lower. We've got a cold spell over the weekend, and then next week it warms up for us. There we go. It's always something to look forward to. <laughs> okay, one. Okay, bring it down. Roll over and come onto all fours. Okay, I'm forgetting the music now. We're not going to work. We're coming into stretches. So, into your cat stretch. Okay. So cat, tuck your chin under, and then push away into cow. Okay. And again, so you come up and under into your cat, and then through into your cow. Okay. Take it back onto the heels and go into your child's pose. Okay, come forward into Cobra. So let's stretch out through those abdominals and the hips. Four, three, two, two, take it back into your child's pose. Get ready. And then forward into your Cobra. Four, three, 
want to love you stretch there. Guys, come back up onto all fours. Okay, tucking the toes just underneath you. It's going to pop up into a downward facing dog. Okay, bringing the heels down. Then come down, drop down towards the knees as if you're coming into a tabletop position. And then you're going to push back. Okay. There we go. Inhale, exhale, and push up to the top. Four, three, two, one. All right. Drop down onto your knees. Take it back towards the heels. Take your right arm away and circle back. Now, as I come down, I can drop my bottom if I want to towards my heels. Yeah? There we go. Lift and lower. Let's do that the other side. So sweep it back and lower it down. Sweep and uh, so you lower it down. You don't have to if you don't want to. You need to stay in one position. Last time. Halfway there. And lower. And Bring yourself into seated position. Okay, seated position. Take one arm around and then just squeeze that in. Okay. Bring it through the shoulder, bring it through the back of the shoulder into that posterior deltoid and then over to the other side. We've done a lot of work on the arms, haven't we, today? That could be in our arm workout. <laughs> okay, take the hands behind you, stretch the chest, open up. Really set you up for the weekend. I love strength classes. Absolutely love doing them, love teaching them. Really make sure you feel so empowered. So good for us. Okay, side reach down and over. And you get great results as well. Quicker. If your weights are a little bit too heavy as well for you. I like it. You just a little bit of a struggle. That's what I want. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not that mean. And then again, up and over. And then up and over. Okay, let's stretch out the upper back. Interlink the hands, drop chin to chest. Okay, drop, take the chin away from the chest, lift up. Push the hands away, lift up to ceiling. Come over, side reach. Side reach the other side. Okay. And then release the arm. 